Oh, here she is. For my part, I was completely shocked at it. It can only be Nicole, what I told you. But there he is. I don't even want to speak to her. I'll imitate you. What's the matter, Cleon? What's wrong with you? What's the matter with you, Cabell? What grief possesses you? What bad humor holds you? Are you mute, Cleon? You lost your voice, Cabell. Oh, is this not villainous? It's a Judas. I clearly see that our recent meeting has troubled you. Oh, oh she sees what she's done. Our greeting this morning is annoying. Oh, she has guessed the problem. Isn't it true, Cleon, that this is the cause of your resentment? Yes, treacherous one, it is, since I must speak. And I must tell you that you shall not triumph in your faces as faithless as you think. I want to be the first to break with you, and you won't have the advantage of driving me away. I will have difficulty in conquering the love I have for you. It will cause me pain. I will suffer for a while. But I will come through it, and I would rather stab myself through the heart than have the weakness to return to you. Me too. What an uproar over nothing. I want to tell you, Cleon, what made me avoid joining you this morning. No, I don't want to listen. I want to tell you what made us pass so quickly. I don't want to hear anything. No, that this morning. No, I tell you. Learn. No, this. traitor. Listen. I won't listen. Let me speak. I'm deaf. Cleon. No. Bill. I won't listen. Stop. Uh, gibberish. Listen to me. Rubbish. One moment. Never. A little patience. Not interested. Two words. No, you've had them. One word. No more talking. All right. If you don't want to listen. And do what you want. Since you act like that, make whatever you like of it at all. Well, let us know the reason then for such a fine reception. It no longer pleases me to say. Let us know something of your story. I myself no longer want to tell you. But tell me. I don't want to say anything. Tell it. No, I'll tell nothing. For pity? No, I say. Have mercy. It's no use. I beg you. Leave me. I plead with you. Get out of here. Lucille. No. Nicole. Never. In the name of God. I don't want to. Talk to me. Definitely not. Clear up my doubts. I won't do anything. Relieve my mind. I don't want to. Go right! Since you are so little concerned to take me out of my pain and to justify yourself for the shameful treatment you give to my passion, you are seeing me in great for the last time, and I am going far from you to die of sorrow and of love. And I? I will follow in his steps. Clear it to What? Yes. Where are you going? Where I told you we are going to die. You're going to die, Cleon? Yes, cruel one, since you wish it. Me? I wish you to die? Yes, you wish it. Who told you that? Is it not wishing it when you don't wish to clear my suspicions? Oh, is it my fault? And if you had wished to listen to me, would I have not told you that the incident you complain of was caused this morning by the presence of an old aunt who insists that the mere approach of a man dishonors a woman, an aunt who constantly delivers sermons to us on this text and tells us that all men are like devils, we must flee. That's the key to the entire affair. Are you sure you're not deceiving me, Lucille? Aren't you making this up? There's nothing more true. It's the absolute truth. Are we going to give in to this? Ah, Lucille, how at the word from your lips you are able to ease the things in my heart, and how easily one allows himself to be persuaded by the people one loves. <laughs>